Hi everyone, it's Schematic Matt and today we are going to talk about gallbladder and bile ducts. The gallbladder acts as a reservoir to store and concentrate the bile until it's needed. The gallbladder is divided into three sections, the fundus, body and neck. The fundus is the rounded distal portion of the gallbladder. Medial to the fundus is the largest part of the gallbladder, the body. The neck tapers and is continuous with the cystic duct leading into the biliary tree. The neck contains a mucosal fold known as Hartmann's pouch. This is a common location for gallstones to become lodged causing cholestasis. Bile products from the liver flows into hepatic duct then into common hepatic duct. The cystic duct runs backward, downward and to the left from the neck of the gallbladder and joins the hepatic duct to form the common bile duct. The cystic duct transports bile to and from the gallbladder. The common bile duct descends behind the superior part of the duodenum, pierces the medial wall of the descending part of the duodenum and drains together with the duct of the pancreas into a dilatation inside the greater duodenal papilla, called the ampulla of the bile duct. The circular layer of muscles in the wall of the bile duct, where it opens into the duodenum, is very strong and forms the sphincter of Odi, which regulates the flow of bile into the duodenum.